Yes, Villa fans, welcome back to Up The Villa podcast. If you're new to the channel, subscribe, drop the video a like and get involved in the comment section down below. We are fast, fast approaching 10,000 subscribers. So let's get us over the line to 10,000. We've got some big, big things coming to the channel. Plenty more concepts, plenty more concepts that are going to be a little bit more interactive for you guys as well. I've got an absolute beauty of a concept coming but i just sort of want to introduce it when we get to ten thousand subscribers as well so um let's help us get us over the line so day after the game justin a feeling feeling all right now close yeah to Emery coming aren't we hey closer to Emery coming yeah one day closer to the dream hopefully yeah i think you <sighs> You know, I've got to just draw a line under it, to be honest. It, it was one of them games that was, you've got to forget about it. It was a nightmare scenario that unfolded in that second half yesterday. And and as disappointed as, as it was, it wasn't unsurprising. And this is the problem. This is why we've got a new manager arriving. So hopefully we can draw a line under the, the, the what's gone on. And the new, the new broom will come in and sweep all in front. And uh, we can we can finally after feels like an eternity, have a, have a proper top quality manager that can get us going in the right direction regularly. <laughs> and we can put a, to an end these nightmare results that, that keep cropping up too often for my liking. Yeah, they do that. They, they do keep cropping up. But Unai Emery comes in to body more on Tuesday. So can't wait for that to be fair. So um, one of our newest sort of concepts that we brought in the summer, but we seem to... We seem to not do it that often because we always get hammered and every player deserves a really low rating. But I just felt like we did it last week. We've got to keep, we've got to get the concept going. So uh, even though we have got battered, we've still got to do it. So Villa fans, head over to our website, utvpodcast.co.uk. Go on the social hub and you'll be going into the player rating section. Um, so you, this is your chance to give all of the players that played against Newcastle a rating uh, and then the average rating will be down on the sort of right-hand side. So I feel like Martinez is a little bit of a weird one because he went off injured, didn't he? Kept a clean felt, sheet, didn't he? Yeah, I, kept, I felt like he did, he did all right, <laughs> didn't he, Martinez? So give, him, can't, yeah, give yeah. him a six. You can't do anything about what happened, can he? Because he was off the pitch, so... No, and then uh, I'll go with Ashley Young and then you can filter a few out. So, Young again, um, you know, the penalty was a weird one, weren't it? And, you know, whatever whatever you think of whoever you support, if, if it's your team, you're going to say you want it, aren't you? And, and rightly, you'd say it was a penalty with the laws of the game. His hand was up. It's in a apparently... An unnatural position. The ball sits Even on. though it's natural. It, it's a penalty. But for me, I, I, I do think this is one of the rules that need to have a, a look at the handball rule again. Because um, I do feel like, you know, if you're on, your, if you're on two feet and uh, you're defending and you're standing up the defender, you know, we all know that defenders now start to put their hands behind the back, don't they? They do the little jockey. So... I feel like they're aware of of what they're doing in that situation, but if you're sort of coming in to to dive and, and, and block a cross or block a shot or or whatever, where, you know, okay, it might be going goal bound, so fair enough. But you know, he, he he's just lunging in with his force to try and and it's it is arm and you know. It, it's harsh, isn't it, Justin? Oh, I think it's it's a shit rule, if I'm honest. It is. It's got to be looked at. I said it yesterday in the pod last night. I think um, if if you worded it that that if you're trying to gain a clear advantage by using your hand or your arm, I think that then you've got to dis- then. But then it's very ambiguous. Like I said again last night, you've got to decide if they're trying to, if they are trying to do it or not. That's what they're trying to do is rule that out and just give it a uniform black and white. Mm. But it's not black and white. That's no. the problem, you know. It, it, you know, it, because it, it can't. It, I feel like in when you're looking at like different sports, like I don't know, cricket for example. I feel like in and you're a big cricket fan. I'm not a big cricket fan, so I might be chatting absolutely crap. <laughs> but 
with rules, you can have sort of like a black and white sort of rule, can't you? I don't know. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, the no, there is. Yeah, today, yeah. Do you know what I mean? Again, but, it's, it's it's down to the referee's interpretation. This is the problem with a lot of these rules. It's it, you're down to the referee's interpretation, and 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 they've tried, like I say, they've tried to take that out out of that out of the referee's hands, if you like. If it hits your hand, it's a handball. Uh, but 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 it's. For me, that's it's not fair. It's not a fair reflection of of a defender trying to do his job in the yeah. penalty box. You know, is he in that split second going to think I've got to try and block this shot, otherwise he could score? Oh shit! I've got to put my arm down. You can't. It's it's not a natural thing to to to, to dive in to try and block a challenge and then bring your arms down to the side. It's not. If you're on the line and he's had a shot and the defender just puts his hand up to stop it, sound. Red card, sent off, penalty, great. But for a defender just trying to do his job, I mean, had he have sneakily stuck his arm out because he realised he'd, he'd positioned himself wrong, again, that they're trying to gain an advantage. But a defender that's literally, and he's looking away because he's literally thinking, I'm going to get it in the face here. So he's not even looking, he's just thinking, I've just yeah. got to try and block it. It's a very harsh penalty, and but they're it's given. no excuse from our side. We're not saying we've lost the game. No, no, because I would have wanted it the other way. I thought Ashley Young. Had probably one of his poorest games this season. Yeah. I thought, I thought he was a little bit outnumbered on that side as well. Yeah. I think they were overloading on him all the time. So um, yeah, it was a shame for him, really. I'd go five. So uh, this defensive partnership, Justin of Mings and Consa. <sighs> right. I mean, it's very hard to give him anything high because we've conceded four goals, haven't we? Yeah. So you know. And- you- it's and not great, is it? You know, when I was on about last night about uh, soft underbelly, I, I just think this partnership is part of the problem. Mm. You know, if, which which should be fair to, to um, Stephen Gerrard. He, he sort of yeah, he, tried to rectify that. that. He did yeah. by signing Diego Carlos, didn't he? And, so, and, yeah. and what I'm saying is, I'm not I'm not trying to slate. Either of them, and 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 say, oh, you know, I think Mings is terrible, or whatever. And what I'm saying is, I just think the partnership is not right. We've had this part, this defensive partnership now, pretty much since we got promoted, and we've seen time and time again those levels of performances haven't it's we? Consistency, just... mate. How many? This is the word of the year for us, the word of the season. Consistency. If they were consistently at their top level. I haven't got a problem with them, but the, the consistency of, of them is so up and down. You know, it just is. Um, but it will be interesting to see see how uh, Emery sort of deals it because because all of the defenders start from scratch again now. So the likes of um, Carlos went fit. Chambers, obviously, again we've can said we this dust, numerous can we times. Get the dust off never, Chambers and like never done a yeah give never him put a foot wrong. And see if he's all right under there. Well, be like, interesting, you know. The Arsenal, don't forget, did he have him at Arsenal? He might yeah. have had him at Arsenal, you know. So there might be a bit of connection there, but he's never put a foot wrong for us, Callum Chambers. And I've always felt it's a little bit hard done way. And to be fair to Conser and Mings recently, that their, their form hasn't been terrible. It's been pretty good. I mean, Mings has been one of our best players this season. Um, but I don't know. I don't know. It'd be interesting to see which how it, um, Emery, once everybody's fit, how Emery sees that defensive partnership because it has, unfortunately, too often let us down. Yeah, I'll let you fire, few, fire through a few of these then. So, um, yeah, then Dom Double D pivot, right. Justin. Double D pivot, yeah. He started all right. Um, I think mobility is probably his biggest issue getting around the pitch. And when things are going well, I think he's great to have in your team. When when it, it's not going well, you know, I thought we got swamped a little bit, especially in the second half. Midfield just got overrun, totally overrun. And, and they, you know, I know he was hooked on 69, but we did get overrun in there. I think Kamara can't come back quick enough, really, because I think he is a level up from Dendonka. I think Dendonka's got a, a, a role to play at Villa. Because uh, I think he's a good player, but I think in the first team, I think you've got to be looking at Kamara at some point. So yeah. then Donker, I'd go with five. Yeah, be generous, and I'd probably be the same with Douglas Louise as well. Yeah. Um, right. What are you going to give Matty Cash? I think you've got to give him the same as I think he tried hard to get forward, but there were, he, he, I don't know five or six. I That's think he's in five. between, isn't he? We need the 5.5, don't we? 
<laughs> we do. Ryan sorted out yeah. 5.5. Again, I think this top part now, it's it's, it's going to be pretty low, isn't it? I think it has to be again. I go back to what I was saying. I think I think it was the, looking back now with hindsight, it was a lovely thing to have. You know, going in with Buendia, Bailey, Watkins, Ings against a team that's flying was was probably the wrong. Although I thought Buendia was tidy in the first half and he looked busy mm. and you know, so possibly Buendia was maybe a six. I think Ings didn't really have a lot of service. Bailey mm. tried hard again. I'd maybe give Bailey a six. I think Ings and Ings and Watkins are. F- yeah, ba- Ings- Bailey was good first half. I thought, you know, when he did yeah. that little run and he he set he set Buendia He, he tried up, to he? make things happen, didn't he? Yeah. yeah. I think Ings and Watkins is a four each. I think I think I, I wouldn't because they just didn't have much service, and when they did get the ball, they didn't really do a lot. Ollie Watkins missed that chance as awesome. well. What are you saying? <laughs> Pff, it's tough for him, isn't it? To come in, one of the first things he had to do was, you know, try and save a penalty. Five. Yeah, I think so. We've seen <laughs> four goals. What can you do? And Villa fans, right? Coutinho too. Well, yeah, I think there's a there's a there's a bit of a groundswell of opinion building about Coutinho, isn't it? He's becoming the next. Um, I don't know. He's the becoming next, the next John McGinn scapegoat. Well, yeah, he's becoming the next scapegoat, isn't he? You know, I've heard a few rumours that that he's that he's, that there's a potentially could be moving on in January. I don't know about that, but. I think I think Emery could maybe unlock his potential. But we've been saying that basically ever since what after and, about five or six games. As well, this whole squad here, Emery could have a different opinion on absolutely all yep. of them. You know, yeah, make or break, be, isn't it? There could be a fan favourite who Villa fans really really like, and he mm. just thinks, you know what? Nah, not in my team. Yeah, um, so. I mean, you might look at the likes of John McGinn and think, "Yep, you're just the kind of player I want." And if you, you get, know, we get the best John McGinn back, then then yeah, you know, you know one knows. player I think he's really going to like, and I don't know why. Just I just think he's really going to like him, Ramsey. Mm. I, I I think he's I think he's going. I'm not sure for a midfielder, his his defensive side of his game is good enough for Emery, but I don't know how he would use him. Unfortunately, in that sort of system. He, he, he's not a six, is he? So, you know, we look. As so you did that really, really good um, one on tactic, tactical side of it. Um, I just don't know where Ramsey fits into an Emery side at the moment. That's not to say he won't, because like you say, he could look at him and think, "Yeah, you, you're perfect for that position there." I don't know. Some yeah. very interesting uh, team selections to come, I think. Yeah, we'll give Coutinho a four. We won't be, we won't be too no. hard. McGinn. I don't say? think he was any worse than, than the other subs that came on, if I'm brutally honest. Four, five, McGinn. Yeah, I mean, 20 minutes to go, 4 nil down. What can you do? Four. I Luke think four Dean. and four, yeah. Luca Dean needed some minutes, didn't they? So, um, so, yeah, so that's what we've gone with. Villa fans, drop yours in on there as well. Doesn't so. make great reading, does it? <laughs> This is what I'm saying, though, Justin. How many of them there are averaging fours? Too you know, many. Too many. You need top end sevens, especially when I was doing those. Um, you know, when I was looking at all those players in the summer, and 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 a lot of them were averaging like sevens every game. I mean, what? You know, would, you what, love a seven, Luke. What? What are some of ours averaging this season? That, that they are Fives. averaging fours. Yeah. And um, you know, and I, and I really, really hope that some of them, you know. Really grasp what what Emery's going to do because it's going to be sink or swim, isn't it? For a lot of these now, they're either going to buy into it very quickly, or he will find out very quickly that he can't rely on some of them, and then you know they'll be gone. Yeah. So right, we'll leave it there then. Thanks, Villa fans, for enjoying our week's worth of content for the Newcastle United game. Um, if you can subscribe, I'd absolutely love it, and uh, we'll be back. I reckon we'll be back. We'll be back tomorrow on Monday with an episode. I'll, I'll Probably, rustle yeah. something up for you. A little treat. When's the When's the Emery press conference? Like the, the... Tuesday. Tuesday. Okay. I think it's That'll Tuesday. So um, yeah, we've got a lot of content coming this week, um, and then we have got our final of the football content awards in November as well. So um, really excited for that as well. So uh, thanks for watching us and up the villa. Up the villa. <laughs>